Hey guys! As promised, it's the first day of a whole month of daily videos. Um, I'm not going to try to make these super long or like really high quality because I still have a lot of life to live this month. But what you get is 31 days in a row of listening to me. Um, possibly also hearing the baby cry in the other room if you can hear her. She does not like having her diapers changed. Anyway, so uh, I think this is what One Book July is looking like for me, um, which is kind of counterintuitive. So that's what I'm going to try to explain here. So here's my trusty file of facts. I've been in this thing for since November. Um, I've been in rings pretty much since last March, April, since last April. So I've been using this system for a good while now and it's been working for me. Um, the last couple of weeks have been particularly busy for me in a way that my, my planner system starts to feel like a burden after a while. Um, it kind of comes in waves. First it's too much and then I have to pare everything down, but then eventually I find that spending more time doing more elaborate collections and spreads and trackers and all of it keeps me more motivated so I start building more and more of those up until just keeping all that maintained becomes too much of a chore and then we begin again. I'm at that point where it's feeling a little bit much. Um, I didn't touch it at all this last Thursday, Friday I want to say. Um, as a result even the two or three things that I was trying to add to my to-do list weren't getting done. Um, so, I mean, a lot of that was just life happening, but uh, I'm feeling like I want to try something a little bit pared down. Um, if you watched my video on Saturday, my live video on Saturday, which was my Sunday video, um, you'll have seen that I was working on this. Um, this is a DIY Happy Planner micro size. Um, I got the rings from Michaels, uh, but that's the only part that is an official Happy Planner product. Um, I got the punch to use also. So this is what I set up. I did the little Franken Planner thing where you have multiple covers um, like this. They all look pretty similar to be honest, but and then I did this one upside down accidentally. <laughs> but sort of each section, I just thought that would be fun to try. Uh, I don't know how practical it is, but what I've got in here, I've basically sort of set it up for just the idea of using it for this week. Um, my baby's party where her, she's turning one uh, on Tuesday, so tomorrow, um, and her party is on Saturday. So there are some things, fortunately I'm not in charge of hosting it, I've just been assigned a few tasks. So I have a lot of baking to do on Friday. Um, a couple other things I need to cut out, and there's a self-imposed thing I want to finish her baby book. So I just have a lot of photos to print, stuff like that, um, for the baby book. So those are some of the things that are in here. Which cover is that? This one, I think, is my project pages. So I've just sort of set it up with the sort of minimalist idea of use it for a week. Um, so I have here, like, my before the party checklist um, with... Uh, a little six day weekly spread here which is sort of I marked off in brackets the things that we have to be at so that um, I could just sort of plan around that and just add the tasks that I want to get done roughly to have a daily outline so that I'm not saving it all up for the last minute because like I think I can make some icing on Wednesday so that I don't have as much to do on Friday anyway here's a packing list of things I need to bring the day of. And then this is also a project. This is going to be the list of videos for this month. And then, let's see, the next section always just has a brain dump. And then the next section is sort of planning. So I've got this cute little July cutout. This is just from a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So they turned out to be three by four. So I just thought I'd use that. Um, then I have a monthly log. You know, I'll show all of this to you a little bit tomorrow. Um, but basically, there's not a lot in here. And as I was going through here to move things over, I moved over like the months, my monthly spread, the things that needed to like general monthly to do's. But 
my context list in the front has a lot more stuff on it than I moved over. Because as I was moving all of these over, I was kind of looking and going, well, does this need to get done this week? Does it need to get done this week? And just sort of only moving the things over that needed to, because I, I don't feel super prepared to tackle a whole bunch of stuff, especially since stuff is just getting busier at work, it feels like lately. Um, and so things are just, I want a more simple, just a, a little planner to do list. So the idea of this is I wanted to try it out. Um, I'm not planning on moving into this long term, but I do think that it's gonna be useful for this week. And I also think that it could be really useful for Comic-Con coming up later this month to have something super tiny that I don't mind if it gets hurt because it's just paper and lamination and some plastic rings that I'm not even using half of. So even if one of these got lost, like what would happen? So that's the idea of this. And so this is what you're going to be seeing in this week's videos. Um, then after that, who knows? Honestly, who knows? The next project will be getting ready for Comic-Con. So I might go back just to the rings, or I might try out this. This is a Clever Fox planner that they sent me for review, and all I've done so far is taken it out of the box. You'll have seen that on my Instagram stories if you just want to see a quick little unboxing. Um, it's in my highlights right now. This is their daily planner, and so it might be useful to try this out. Sometimes I feel like shaking up your system can just kind of put things in focus. And that's what I'm hoping will happen now. So effectively what we have here is a one book July where I'm planning to move between three different, two or three different planners um, as the mood strikes, which is exactly what the first challenge was not. But um, I guess if it's one, one project, that project is these videos. Um, I am trying out the one pen. That is a challenge thing that I'm trying out is I'm, I misplaced a friction earlier this week and suddenly felt crippled because I didn't have my special pen with me to cross stuff out on my list. Um, it's like, oh no, what if I put something in permanent ink and it won't match? So I felt that that had become a mental handicap. So I'm taking a break from my friction pen. All of this have set up with my Micron 05 and for a little bit of color, this yellow mild liner. Um, this is the like golden rod. I don't know what they call it. Um, I love this color. So that that is also the idea is to pare down the number of pens that I'm carrying around with me. So we're gonna try to avoid friction pens for the month. There are a couple of spreads and collections later on in my planner here that um, I don't want to like ruin. There's some that are like evergreen spreads that I use friction specifically so that I can erase it. Um, but during my daily planning, I'm mostly just using it because I like the option to erase it if I don't like something the first time. But like here, this video is already getting longer than I expected. Um, I put in some trackers for the month and they look like this. And there's like 10, there's 11 squares across. So I was like, perfect, I'll do um, two rows of 10 squares and a row of 11 squares. But instead I accidentally drew a line too far, so I ended up with 11 and then 10, 10, which makes it harder to count. But you know what? I'm not gonna care. Maybe I'll decide to go from top, from bottom to top instead. I don't know. Anyway, all of that rambling aside is to say, welcome to One Book July. Um, Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, um, the notification bell might also be a handy thing for you if that is the way you YouTube, because uh, these are going to go out hopefully at uh, 6 a.m. Pacific time every single day of this month. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.